Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another Minion video for Final Fantasy XIV. This time we're looking at one that I really didn't expect to get any time soon, but thanks to the generosity of Parabella, one of my supporters, we actually have this Minion to show you today. This is for the Sand Fox Minion. The Sand Fox in particular, then, is actually a pretty hard-to-come-by Minion, as you might notice. Uh, the prices for this thing on the market board, because it's market tradable, can go anywhere up to 50 million. I'm not sure if any actually sold at 50 million, uh, but some are already at about like 25 to 30 million there's a lot of competition and the reason for that is because it's going to be a very staggered amount of them that are going to be available for the time coming uh, because it does invo involve the faux hollows minigame in particular or chloe aliopo so in particular i am talking about the unreal trial system and faux hollows so let me just quickly show you this essentially you can do faux hollows which is doing from unreal shiva uh, essentially once a week but you can get a retelling so technically you can clear it two times a week and you can play the faux hollow mini game once you have cleared unreal shiva fairly easy fight and you have a chance to get all of these little like boxes we've shown this before i think uh, we showed it on live stream as well but essentially once you have uh, collected some faux leaves which is a currency as you can see i've got 120 of these i was incredibly unlucky i've been doing this uh, basically twice every week since it's been out and some people are actually close to you know over 400 500 it's complete rng basically you're clicking tiles on a box to un turn them over to see what they make and if you make certain present icons and stuff you get more of them Unless you get a fox face in which you get, uh, I think it's 100. So as you can see, one of the rewards is actually the catchy neck ribbon, which we'll be looking at in the future. Hopefully this is the only one, as far as I can tell, that isn't market tradable. Uh, so that's something I will be trying to save up for myself if we ever get there. But until then, you can actually get some other things, including the Incitatus, which we actually looked at in a previous video. And today's video is the Sand Fox, but of course you've got Cracked. And, uh, cracked planning and stellar clusters for materials for just 10 and uh, prisms some fireworks but we're after the the sand fox which would usually cost you 400 faux leaves which again is the currency from the faux hollow minigame if you don't want to do unreal shiva and you don't want to purchase it from other players you can still get the minion as far as i can tell from the i think it's the silver accommodations right is it the silver ones no, if I is it is it not that gold ones? Oh yeah, sorry. This is the one that you can't get with the silver and gold commendations. You can get the gold commendation if you get three lines. You can get the incitatus whistle. We know that one. And the silver ones, uh, you can get the catchy neck ribbon. So that does make this minion even rarer event because you can't get the sand fox from any other way, any other means other than buying it from other players or from getting all of those points, all of those faux, faux leaves, basically, you know, all 400 of them to purchase it from the vendor yourself, which in includes doing Unreal Shiva. So it's quite hard to get. Anyway, let's move on to looking at the minion then. I, you know, I'm waffling a bit, but I didn't want to just not explain this in its fullest. And uh, there we go. It's That's the Sand Fox, which is identical to the one that's part of a faux hollow minigame. So let's go to somewhere less rainy, I think would be a good idea. There's the idle animation, by the way, of it looking around, and it sort of shakes his little ears occasionally to look around. But let's go somewhere a little less, um, well, rainy and horrible, and look at this properly. We are, we can't really get much better quality weather systems uh, this time of day than a desert, really, can you? So anyway, let's look at this uh, minion's text as we look at it together. And, uh, and then we'll pan around him. So it says, Summon your sand fox minion will perform tricks for a lick of birch syrup. It says, The descendant of a thousand-year-old vulpine spirit, this creature dreamed of training under the tutelage of its legendary forebear, Sotan. Alas, it was turned away and ended up taking you as its master instead. Though it will devour most anything you give it, it has a grown fond for birch syrup. And a hidden text, if you highlight over the lever, says, You can't smoke out a fox with hot air. A quote there of Bran. And here we are. This is the sand fox in all of his glory. He naturally sort of just sits down when you're not walking around. So he's just seated here 
on the sand, looking pretty fine. I like the little twitching of his ears. He's always attentive, l like listening for something, much like a real animal would, you know, just waiting for predators. He's got this massive chin, though, sort of like big cheeks. Uh, although apparently sand foxes exist in the, in the real world as well, although obviously they're not called that, they have very similar podgy faces to this, believe it or not, with similar sort of facial features. It's, it's really hard to, uh, to, to sort of explain to you other than just showing you on screen, but yeah, look, they literally do look like this in real life. This is something I didn't know. I've never seen one of these before in my entire life. But yeah, the more you know sort of thing. So yeah. It looks pretty cool. It's a really welcome addition to the collection. So let's talk about its interactions. And you don't need the Mammothia Pet Collection title or anything like that on your character. You can simply just uh, bring it towards you with the handover command. It will eat from your hand. And the forward slash pet is actually the key one to make it basically look around. So every time you pet it, as you can see here, if I'm actually within range, you will see he sort of looks around tentatively to look at uh, any potential threats or whatever, or just, you know, his inquisitive nature. But yeah, I really like this one. I think this is a fantastic looking minion. For some reason, the lighting is messed up here. I don't know quite what's going on. But uh, for some reason, the sand makes him look a little bit, well, more sandy colored. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. As for paying that amount of gill for it myself... I would potentially, you know, never recommend doing that. But it is a really nice one to the collection. I just think that um, they should have had another way of getting it. Maybe not putting it into the silver commendations was a little bit of a, of a weird move, in my own opinion, being one of the only rewards that you can't get outside of purchasing it from other players or from the Faux Hollow minigame. The fact that you can get even the mount outside of that, uh, as well as... Obviously, you know, I mean, the mounts for free lines or for doing faux hollows or, you know, the, the catchy necklace being a, obtainable on both methods as well. It seems weird that the minion isn't. Anyway, let me know what you think about this one yet. If you plan to get this one, if you're going to wait a little bit or if you're trying to still save up your points, if your RNG is as bad as mine and you only have about 100 or maybe even less. But let me know. Thank you kindly for watching. Thank you so much to Parabella for providing me with this for this video. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Much love and take it easy. Bye-bye.